Excel 2016 has some wonderful forecasting tools that take all of the labor and time out of developing regression models that manage seasonality and trend. I'll show you how it works. I'm just going to click in my data and go up here to Data, Forecast Sheet, and it brings up a dialog box. And it's smart enough to select all the data and model this data for seasonality and trend and give you uh, a forecast with confidence intervals. On your options, you can change the start date and stop date for your forecast. You can change the confidence intervals or do away with the confidence intervals. And then you can include forecast statistics. The other thing it does, it will detect automatically and tell you the seasonality. You know, here we've got a 12-month seasonality. I'm sorry, yeah, 12-month seasonality. But if it had a different seasonal period, you don't have to figure it out. Excel will figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and click Create, and it will create that chart for you and give you your Excel statistics, um, which is pretty neat and a whole lot faster than having to do it the way I just showed students to do. So if we can require students to use 2016, or maybe I should just add that as a teaser for the students who don't have 2016. Your thoughts?